The iPhone 9 will be called the iPhone SE according to 9to5Mac. Also, some other confirmation is that it will be called the iPhone SE because on Apple official site are selling the screen processor for the iPhone SE A7 with a screen ratio of 4.7 inches displayed. Also, the iPhone SE will probably be upgraded from the 64GB up to 256GB of storage. The iPhone 9 will be running on a Bionic 13 chipset and the price will be $400 according to rumors it is expected to launch April 15. Samsung is planning to let their CDTR Samsung mobiles to make their own portable glass panels. So the reason they are planning to build their own portable glass panels it is because they can lower the price and improve quality for the portable glass panels. In this way, Samsung Mobile is independent from Samsung Electronics who is currently making portable glass tech and other technologies for Samsung like building screens for smartphones, TV, monitors and other devices. Not long ago, we heard that Samsung is working on a 150 megapixel camera sensor. But now according to the a leaker who said that Xiaomi is working on the 144 camera sensor that will probably be implemented on their top their devices like the Mi 10s Pro or Mi 10 CC 10 Pro. This probably is not surprising if you look into the past smartphone with a bigger camera sensor like the time when they launched their smartphone with a 48 megapixel camera on the Redmi Note 7 and then next year on the Note 8 Pro with a 64 megapixel camera and lastly the 108 megapixel 4 to 1 tech on the Mi, Mi CC9 Pro and the Mi Note 10 recently. It looks like Xiaomi is a pioneer and recently creating bigger Samsung with their friend Samsung who they made a partnership. So if Xiaomi released their 144 camera sensor, we probably increase our hopes that Samsung will implement their 150 megapixel camera sensor that was mentioned before. It will probably increase the price of their flagship as from Arena was mentioning why smartphones are getting expensive with the increase of technology advances in camera departments with the latest sensor module incre increment in capturing more light and magnification and other camera tax advances. Also the latest processor display refresh rate and other features. So all likely companies will be increasing the prices of their flagship from the current smartphone like the S20 Ultra or the P40 Pro Plus aka P40 Pro Premium Edition with a price starting at $1,400 and the possibility of go up to $1,500 in the nearest future. Hopefully this information is useful to you and if you would like more content like this check out my channel and thank you for watching.